We've talked over and over and over about Jalen Green and his improvement this offseason and what we're really looking forward to seeing from him during this regular season. We also talked a lot about potentially trading for Cat despite him tentatively staying in Minnesota this season. Well, we're 24 games into the season and Jalen Green has looked as good as expected if not better. I mean, he's averaging 23 points per game, 5 assists, and 1 steal on 48% from the field, 45% from 3, and 83% from the line. I mean, we could not ask for more from him in his second year. He's been awesome as a scorer, and the reason that we're in most of the games we've played. But unfortunately, it hasn't exactly led to what I'd call a successful season so far. We're the 15th seed sitting at a comfortable 8 games below 500. I mean, we're not out of it, obviously. Teams have come back from worse records. Look at the Heat from like 2016 or something where they went 30 and 11 in the second half. But I'm not all that optimistic about it. Christian Wood, who was supposed to be our second best player, just hasn't been that good. I mean, he was really good last year. The percentages were great. The counting stats were great. Everything was great with him, except the defense. Now he's been struggling from three. The field goal percentage is down slightly. The points per game is down by four, which is a significant amount. I get it's only 24 games into the season, but also it's 24 games into the season. That's not an insignificant amount of time. Not to mention Luke Kennard, who was supposed to be a big piece off the bench for us, is playing horrific basketball right now. 35-33-77 splits on almost 8 points a game. He's also a big negative on defense, so right now he's out there doing cardio. And the rookies have been playing better than him, as a matter of fact. Mojave King is averaging 9 points per game on 48-44-90 splits. Granted, on pretty low volume... But he's also pairing that with pretty good defense, so I'm really happy so far with him. Jovic is also doing all right. About nine points per game and five rebounds on some okay splits. Not great, but this is 24 games into their rookie seasons. But really, this is the whole problem. We have a ton of guys playing all right, averaging single-digit points on mediocre efficiency while not adding much of anything else as of now, unless you're Mojave King. And it's made me think a lot about the team. After this offseason, we thought we would push for the playoffs with all the versatile players that we added. We had a solid starting lineup, and we expected a bit more from our second best player and figured that the rest of the guys would fill in the gaps, and we had a star player who could keep us in enough games to push for the playoffs. I'm not saying that can't happen, but if we want to really be competitive, we're going to have to have a much better player to pair with Jalen Green than Christian Wood. I view it a lot like Atlanta's situation. Trey Young can be the best player on a championship team, but can John Collins be the second best player on one? He's probably better suited to be the third option or even the fourth option on a championship team. Same with Christian. He's a very good player, but I'm not sure he's good enough to take us to that next level that we're looking for. That being said though, how would we even go about this? I mean, if we maintain being bad, we'll have a high draft pick with the potential to draft a star, but how long would that player take to develop? Two, three, four, five years even? And it's not a guarantee the guy we draft even becomes a star. I don't think we have that star on the roster currently either. Because while I do like King, and I do like what Jovic could be, I don't think either are the second best player on a championship team. King has elite defensive potential, but the offense is a question mark. And Jovic has the talent on offense, but the shooting is questionable, and so is the defense. The ceiling for both of them, probably a high-level role player or borderline all-star. I mean, there's always free agency, but with us having so many evident holes and also being bad, I doubt anyone other than a significantly overpaid restricted free agent would be coming to Houston. So then there's the trade market, but Cat or any other disgruntled star is out of the question because of our record, at least for now. We're eight games behind 500. So we don't really have a clear way to get our second best player right now. But trust me, I will be all over the trade market around the deadline. I will be listening to every offer. There's no one but Jalen Green that's untouchable on this team. 
We're going to be talking to the selling teams. We're going to be talking to the rebuilding teams who may have a good player on their team. We just have to start moving from the young guys into more veteran and, you know, actual experienced players. So I'll be listening a lot this trade deadline. Trust me, we're not selling the farm to go 41 and 41. But we are going to find a second star to pair with Jalen Green.